many times I gotta? How many times I gotta? Yeah. How many times I gotta say I'm on the whole other way? If it ain't respect, tell them don't say my name. And we're gonna apply the elastic band just so it can lay down while we're doing our makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and brush out my hair before I get started with the makeup. And just an FYI, I did go wash my hands after this. And now I'm going to apply my primer, which is the Milk Hydro Primer. And I'm going in with my eyebrow tint from Vanity Vault. I think this is the color Ebony. It looks dark, but it's fine. And to also put less product in the front of my eyebrows than I do in the middle and the tail of my eyebrows. So I go in with a very light hand. I don't know if you could tell. And now I'm going to go in with my spoolie and brush the front out. Make sure I just blend that product out. And now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I use the MAC Duo. All the links to all the products will be in the bio or the description, whatever it's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation color from Vendi Vault also. And my foundation color right now is Hot Chocolate. I love how the foundation on top of the eyebrows look versus putting concealer up there. And now I'm going to go in with the P. Louise eyeshadow primer. I'm trying to see what all the hype is about. I knew I was going to do a bright eyeshadow look, so I was like, okay, let's try this out. This was like 30 something dollars. And if you ask me, it's kind of hyped up. I like my LL Girl Pro Concealer the same as I do this $30 product. So do I want to spend $30 or $3? But now I'm going to go into my Spring Fling eyeshadow palette from Vanity Vault. And I'm going in with the color Infatuation. It's very bright. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Y'all know I love bright summer looks. If y'all new here, then y'all know now. But if y'all true to this, then y'all already know. And I'm trying to decide which brown I want to go with. So I decided that I wanted to go in with the reddish brown, with the dark brown. And I was thinking I was going to go into the crease with it, and I decided against it. I didn't want to smoke it out, so we're just going to focus the brown on the outer corner of our eyelid. And then I'm trying to create a nice smooth transition between the brown and that highlighter orange color. So you can see me go in between the brown and infatuation. Now I put the color puppy love, puppy love in the crease and then the brow bone just to kind of brush out the harsh lines. Back in with infatuation and then back in with the color casual. I believe it's casual. It's the brown color in the palette. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And then I'm putting puppy love in the crease and near the brow bone. Puppy Love is like a very nude color, but I like it in the eyeshadow palettes because you, it's like better, or for me it is, it's easier for me to blend out harsh lines if I have like um, a tan tone that matches my skin color. So now I am going to clean up the eyeshadow with my foundation. I didn't want to go in with um, Concealer just because sometimes it just becomes harder to blend out to me foundation is easier to blend in those areas So now I am applying my foundation with a flat top foundation brush Just did a fruit pumps and that's going to go all over I don't focus too much underneath my eyes with the foundation because of course that's where the concealer is gonna go Today for the concealer, I'm going to use light beige. This because I like a bright under eye now. I used to go in with um, and with the toffee under my eyes, but now I just be going brighter and brighter under the eyes. So now for Fenty, baby, we're going to go in with espresso on the cheeks. 
and on that jawline. So with that foundation brush, I am going to put foundation on my hairline to where the closure is just to make it blend better. So now I'm going in with the color Toffee from Fenty as the bronzer. And I'm going to buff out all of my bronzer with my Real Techniques foundation brush. The bronzer just brings back the color and your skin tone, just give you nice dimension. Because when you put on that foundation, it does leave your face very flat. So now with the concealer to brighten it, um, we're going to use that to brighten under our eyes. And we're going to go in with our concealer brush from Real Technique. And we're going to blend out the color on our forehead, the bridge of our nose, back under the eye. And I just kind of just go back and forth with the foundation brush, the bronzing brush, and the concealer brush until everything is nice smoothly blended in transition I just found that going back and forth between each um, between each area while make sure that you switch brushes though so if it's foundation make sure you use the foundation brush if it's the bronzer use the same brush that you use to bronze throughout the whole video because you don't want it to look muddy but I just found that if I go back and forth with each area then it just blends smoothly and I just keep going back to each area until everything is transitioned beautifully and smoothly. I hope y'all getting what I'm saying. Hope y'all picking up what I'm putting down. So now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso to edge out that nose. And to me, the Fenty bronzer just don't be deep enough for me. You know, I like a little, you know, I like my face sculpted. You know what I mean? So I'll go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and again with that um, foundation brush that I use to bronze the rest of my face. Mm-hmm. Look how it's, look what it's already given. Y'all see it. And then with my concealer, I just used the Access product. And I went right underneath that um, contour just to define it a little bit more. So now I'm going to blend out the contour on my nose. You see me going back and forth with the bronzing brush and the concealer brush. You see, sculpted. Oof, fa. Ah. Mm hmm. So now I'm going to go in with the color bronze for my inner corner. I'm using this as a highlighter and it's perfect. So now on my elf palette, I'm going to go in with my brush blush palette. This is in the color dark. And just to give a little bit more dimension to them cheeks. And back in with Puppy Love, I just went back through my eyeshadow. Go back in with bronze and put on more highlighter. You can't really tell on camera, but it was looking real cute. So pretty. I love it. So I already took the lashes out, but I'm just showing y'all the packaging, how cute it is. These lashes are from Vanity Vault. And the glue is from the hair store, baby. I'm going to use some hair glue for my lashes each and every time. But now I'm going to secure the secure my lashes with the tweezers. Nothing more that I hate more when I see the lashes hanging on by a thread, baby. Okay, y'all know my lips been white the whole video. Now I want to put some lip stuff on. <laughs> y'all ain't tell me or nothing. But now I'm going to go in with my dark brown eyeliner and use this as lip liner. My same lip combo in every video. I think I've only changed it up like twice. And then I like to go in with high maintenance on the inside of my lip. 
back in with the brown liner just to define it a little bit more give it a nice ombre effect and then i put some more lip gloss on top of it perfect and now we're going to set the face with our dewy finish by nyx oof fine and now we're moving on to the hair so this part is just pretty self-explanatory i just brush it out with my dimming brush spray it with got to be glue use the crimper hold it down for five seconds and just work my way down just simple to the point oh i decided that i wanted to go and put that brown underneath my put it on my waterline just to give it some color but anyways back to the hair so i just repeat that same process throughout the hair comb spray heat comb spray heat And make sure that y'all check out my Amazon link for these crimpers. I love these crimpers. I think that this is my new go-to hairstyle. I'm, I guess I wore out the uh, barrel curls, baby, because I would barrel curl y'all to death. Now I guess I'm just going to crimp my hair to death, too. But that's okay. We love a good crimp over here, especially for the summertime. Thank you guys for watching my video. Until next time, I wish you peace, purpose, and prosperity. Should be higher when I do it. <laughs> I might be the best you nigga never had, but he keep my pocket straight. I just get the cash. I be really chilling though, ain't even in my bag. Ain't even reach for it yet. Let's just do the math. Bitch, I do this 24, seven days a week. I hustle 31 days. I ain't even sleep.